we not physically capable of it. It's Hey VG, you said if I donate $20, you would call my friend and ambush him with a vegan debate. He hates you VG, so be careful. Can I DM you his phone number? My discord is s.f.sorrow. Send me a message on my Instagram. Um, that'd be the easiest way. So I'll call him uh, when you DM me. Uh, thanks for the donation, go vegan or die. Okay, let me, uh... I am retarded dumb bitch. I suck Hamas's dick dry. I spread propaganda so I can have daddy Hamas's cock. I am dumb bitch. If you agree, put a one in the chat that I am dumb bitch. I have blue hair and dry pussy that smells like bacon, egg and cheese. Lamau. Yeah, I, I already assumed that, but thank you for confirming. Thanks for the donation, Jessica. Hello? Hello? Is this Jeremiah? Yes, it is. Hi. Hi, uh, this is Vegan Gains. Vegan Gains? Yeah, this is Vegan Gains. <laughs> okay, so... Alright, that, that explains why it's restricted. Um, hi. Well, I know who put you up to calling me. Yeah. My buddy, so I guess he'd, he'd donate or something? How much did he donate? 20 bucks. Damn, nice, dude. I don't know how your how much your average donors are, but that's pretty fat. Yeah, so apparently you have a problem with veganism? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> I think he... <laughs> I'm personally not a vegan. I don't have, like, a, like a hatred toward vegans or something. Well, seems um, like you have a hatred towards just, animals if you're not vegan. Why do you think it's okay to murder well, animals? No, I just, <laughs> I just respect the life cycle on Earth. And I realize at, like, scale, the amount of people we have, we'd have to kill a lot of people probably. Like, not everyone is going to be able to... Uh, I mean, maybe when we can lab grow meat, that would be kind of cool. But so, uh, that, I, Animal agriculture actually reduces the food supply because food that we could be feeding directly to humans gets fed to animals. Um, the yeah, uh, what was it? Uh, Cornell University um, did an analysis. Uh, they found that 700 million more people could be fed if we uh, stopped animal agriculture. Uh, the United Nations also did a analysis. Uh, they calculated that we would be able to feed the population that would be expected to exist by 2050, which I think is 9 billion people or 10 billion people, um, while using less land than we currently use today for agriculture if we were to stop using animal products. So that's not a good argument since animal agriculture well, actually <laughs> reduces food insecurity. Well, I'm, I'm, I am like largely against a lot of the factory farming type of things. I like think a lot of that is kind of disgusting. Okay, well, um, uh, like 95% of farming is factory farming, so uh, yeah. all the meat you're eating is factory farmed. So if you're against it, why are you that, supporting yeah. it? Well, I mean, I don't, I'm not really in an, an economic situation right now. I'm sort of just, I mean, I'm not very wealthy. I also didn't want to, like, I'm okay, like, well, uh, that's also a really I'm bad like excuse a, because the cheapest foods are plant-based foods. I don't need to make excuses to you. I didn't call you. You called me. I didn't. Yeah, well, you're, I the, you're the one making these arguments against why your you're. Stuff. You're the one making these arguments uh, for why I'm, you're not vegan. <laughs> you so asked me. We've already established. Well, you're just like pointing a finger. Yeah, well, we've already established that uh, eating meat does not improve food security. Uh, we've also established that eating meat is not cheaper than being vegan. So, what's your justification okay. for murdering innocent animals? Well, I didn't. I didn't murder innocent animals. Well, you absolutely did. If you're paying I'm for them to be them, murdered, you're dead. the one culpable for it. Okay. All right. Look. Listen. I'm. I'm not here to try to defend like whether I eat meat. In fact, I don't even know why I'm here. You just called me. But what I what I would say if because the first question you asked is whether I hate veganism. Veganism. I don't have anything against vegans, especially ethical vegans. Like it, I mean, I really do. I do understand it. And I hope that we can get to a point where, you know, potentially we could reach that as a society with like lab grown stuff and whatnot. Um, but in terms of like hunting and I think that that, I think that there, you can live ethically without being a vegan. If you, I think dipping your hand in like the, uh, 
the life cycle of the planet by shooting and killing a deer and feeding your family with that for many months. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because that deer was going to be consumed by another predator. There's nothing, I mean, nature is inherently amoral. Like it doesn't have morals. So as long as you're not torturing something and you're just killing it to eat it, you can do okay, it. In an so if I killed so you I to eat you, that'd be fine. That are massive farms. So if I killed you to eat you, would that be okay? I think that's fine. If you kill to eat me, well, I would defend myself. Well, I'm sure a deer would also try to defend itself if I tried to kill the deer. So. Yeah. Uh, well, I, that's just that's that's the planet. Nature is a more. Okay, so how, you don't have a is. problem with me, like anybody say, killing you to eat you. I do have a problem with it, but so does the deer. Yeah, it's the, the, that's not the point. The, uh, but that's okay, not so nature, that's if not you're okay with murdering we don't deer, live in the Garden okay, of Eden. so I, I can understand why you would have a personal problem with somebody killing you. How about me just going out and killing random people and eating them? Would you have a problem with that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, also, so also, can you I'm name the trait that's lacking in deer, that if lacking in a human being, it would make it morally acceptable to kill and eat that human being? Why it's okay to... Well, hum, human beings would have more rights than a deer because of... I mean, literally just the fact that you're a human, in my opinion, is enough. Um, there's also just like intellectual capacity. Okay, well, sort of the thing. first answer you gave me is question begging. I asked you what trait animals are lacking that if lacking in a human being would justify the killing a human. human being. Then you just mentioned they're humans. Uh, I understand that, but that's begging the question. Um, well, you mentioned intellectual either. capacity. That's actually a trait. So are you saying like uh, mentally disabled human beings would be okay to kill and eat them? No, I, I'm telling you I'm a speciesist. Like literally that. Okay, so species the trait? Species this, but I just believe in human suprem supremacy. If you are a human, I'm going to inherently value your life more than basically any other animal. Okay, so let's say if Jews weren't human beings, they lacked the cluster genetics <clears throat> that made them part of the genus Homo. Would it be okay to kill and eat Jews? If they weren't, if Jews weren't human, they wouldn't be Jews then. Well, um, they would. It's just that so they lack the cluster genetics to be considered part of the genus. You're saying if a human wasn't a human, would it be okay to kill them to eat them? So what would they be? Would they be an animal? Well, they, they'd they look the same. They'd have the same level of intelligence. It's just that they don't have the same cluster genetics that would be make them part of the genus Homo. So it, Jews could be the exact same they are now, but let's just say they had... a. Uh, divergent evolution where they could only interbreed with other Jews, but they couldn't interbreed with other uh, other humans. You'd be okay with killing other Jews? I don't know, man. Maybe maybe I would, if in the event that that was reality, maybe I would develop some sort of scale to find out, like, there's sort of a... a uh, you, like you don't know if you'd kill any you Jews. To humanity. And if you're close enough to humanity, then I would consider you human-like or you're a humanoid. And if it was like Elder Scrolls with a bunch of different like races, like Khajiit okay, so and the, Argonians, okay, so you know the what trait, I mean? But like, okay, wait, so the trait is no longer being part of the human species, it's having traits that make you close enough to human. Okay, well, yeah, uh, cows, pigs, chickens, they all have feelings, they all have maternal bonds, they form friendships... Uh, even their uh, body plan is similar. You can find, like, we all share, share a genetic lineage. Uh, they all have similar bones in their structure. They have femurs. They have, uh, like, joints in the same places. They have four limbs. So they're humanoid-ish, right? Uh, I mean, <laughs> you're, they, are a, they evolved on the planet Earth, and they're mammals. I mean... They're not humanoids, they're mammals. I mean, you're just describing things that, like, most mammals have. Right, well, you said being close... I could close... describe all the things that so were differently you, you, you as well. you just said I mean... being close enough to being human, so I, I would say they're close enough to being human. Like, uh, again, what traits are they lacking? Like, everything else that makes them not human. I mean, but this is kind of arbitrary. Like, who gives a fuck if they have a female? I mean, it's mostly about the intelligence i guess it's like the the pairing between those two i don't know and i mean i don't i don't like the fact that we i don't like that nature is cruel and that we kill things to eat it and other things kill things to eat them well then you don't have to and be a part day, of it it would 
You yeah, don't yeah. have well, to engage in that cruelty. Uh, you have the choice uh, to not do that. Uh, and and uh, let me ask you a question. Not so, everybody has that choice, to be fair. No, but... y- you have that choice. Uh, well, and by the way, everybody well, you don't know has anything that about me or my, uh, everyone, or my every scenario. single person has that choice. Uh, there's no situation. Every single person. There is no situation where you are forced to eat animal products unless you're tied to a bed and you're getting food forced feed to you are down you, a tube. So are you, everybody has a choice. Some people don't know where their next meal is going to come from, dude. Yeah, and I don't they can know, choose to I'm, die. And are you saying and everyone to death. in the first world? You think someone should starve to death rather than eat like a plate of chicken in front of them to not starve to death? Yes, uh, because eating that plate of chicken right, dog, means you're, you're murdering it. another another creature. And uh, let it me ask you this: it's for, it's for self sustenance, it's it's you, it's me or them, dog, and it's gonna be them. I have more power over them. That's just how it uh, is. Okay, so I have I'm more power gonna... over you. I'm six foot three, two hundred seventy pounds. I'm a bodybuilder. I can bench four hundred right. pounds. So can I kill and eat you? Uh, but let me ask you this. Well, you can try, but thankfully we have equalizers. Thank God for Smith & Wesson. Oh, well, you know so, what? I'm pretty have, goddamn good at laws, shooting. I posted morals. some uh, videos of me uh, shooting on okay, Instagram. Okay, well, so, I mean, uh, you, I wouldn't you might advise you trying still be to kill people and eat them. But, um, Maybe. Uh, but uh, let me ask you this. If, if, <laughs> you were to find, uh, if you were to find a chicken that had human <laughs> intelligence, so you could talk to it, it could have a conversation, you can have... You know, a chicken could argue with you like I'm arguing with you now. Uh, would it be ethical to kill the chicken? If it was as annoying as you, then yes. Okay, so... <laughs> if... Uh, no, I, I well, think you're okay, being wait, facetious, say it again, but, I'm sorry. But if you found a chicken that had human-level intelligence and could advocate for its own life uh, in a similar way that I'm advocating for the lives of animals right now, would it be ethical to kill the chicken? I think it would be, uh, I would say it's certainly, it's certainly less ethical than killing a chicken with like how chickens actually are in reality. Okay, well, I'm asking you um, if it is ethical or not. You'd say it's unethical? Well, I mean, well ethics, ethics aren't black and white. I'm, I would say that it's unethical, but it's still more ethical than killing a human. Why? Because... I mean, I'm. A, I guess I'm just a hardline speciesist. I okay, so if, if somebody, more. okay, if somebody were to tell you, um, I think killing a black person is less ethical than killing a white person, and uh, I just think uh, white people are superior. Wh- what would you say to that person? Like, like the only, would, well, the that, only that's, that's being racist, not well, species. Well, yeah, being that, that's the exact same thing. That's the exact same problem because I, I just posed to you a hypothetical where well, the chicken it's a group preference. is. I just it's a posed group preference. It's not the same thing. Well, I, I just po- I just posed a hypothetical where the chicken is just as smart as a human being. The only okay. differentiator is skin deep, so it has the same mind. It just has a different body. Um, well, you would, you would, you would criticize somebody who said white people are superior just because they have white skin I did, uh, now I did you're say it telling is unethical. me sorry i did say it is unethical i did say it was unethical i but i did but basically well, the reason why i threw that in is because yeah like if, if the if the brain of the chicken is literally identical it's basically a human in a chicken's body then that is unethical and i don't think you should ki- i don't think you should kill that chicken but if it was if it was posed with like you have to kill this chicken with this human brain or this human with a human brain, if I had to pick one, I was just I was just making it clear my preference toward the human, even though I think both would be unethical. Okay, so say if somebody had uh, say if we were to ask this question in a different way, and I were asking you, would you rather kill a black person or a white person? Uh, and you said, well, I'd rather kill the black person because black people have black skin and white people have white skin. And I just have that preference. Like, do you, do you understand that's literally the argument you're making? You're saying because of qualities that are literally just skin deep, just physical appearance, you're going to murder somebody over another person. If I had, if, well, okay, well, that's, that's, that's being racist, I mean, it's it's a group preference. There is so in nothing way, different. Similar, there is no different difference between speciesism and racism, as I have demonstrated. You, you literally said right. you'd kill a chicken with a human brain well, simply which one, because which it has one would you body pick? of a chicken. Would you not be able to pick? You would just pick arbitrarily. 
Well, I it, even so, if it's just an emotional thing and it's not actually logically based, I would just I would be inclined to kill the chicken as opposed to like so the child or if, whatever. Like so, I just would. if uh, let's say this was a trolley problem and there was a human being on a set of train tracks and a chicken with a human brain on a set of train tracks and all else were equal, I wouldn't do anything to switch the tracks because. Uh, either decision to me would be equally bad. I don't see how I'm gaining anything by killing the chicken with a human brain uh, versus killing the human who is just a normal human. Uh, now, if you were to, to say, one, right? now, if it were like Hitler on the tracks, one... now, if it were Hitler on the tracks and a chicken with a human brain on the side of the tracks, I'd kill Hitler. I'd kill Hitler if it was just a normal chicken on the other side of the tracks. And conversely, yeah, if yeah, there was a chicken with Hitler's brain on the one side of the tracks and a human on the other side of the tracks, I'd kill the chicken with Hitler's brain. Uh, now, I, I, I just find it very strange and disturbing that you'd tell me you'd have a preference of killing a chicken with human brain over human simply because it looks like a chicken. Like, how is that, uh, how is that quality pick, difference yeah. meaningful to you? Well, I think a lot of it, I think it's probably innately like an emotional impact, even like, so like, even if like, I, I just have a, I have a, um, just, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? It's kind of like if, if there was like a group in a, if there was people in a burning building, there was like, let's say like a, like eight people or whatever, I could save them or I could save my mom. It would be pretty hard for me not to save my mom even though I could save eight people, which is more people, but I have this bias toward my mother. Well, and that's understandable. I, think, I think every time I'm saving my mom, yeah, sure, even that's, I don't know these That's eight understandable. I, I can understand so how you... It's like that. Yeah, so I, I can understand how you'd have that personal preference, but we're talking about complete strangers, and the only reason you can give me for why you'd kill the chicken with a human brain is because it looks like a chicken. That is no different than saying I'd kill a black person over a white person because a black well, person you're just has black skin. I have a love for humanity in the same way I have a love for my mom compared to like another species on the planet. I want to see humanity as a species do well. And so if I could eliminate one human versus one chicken, yeah, I'm sure. going to pick you. Okay. Well, if you love, okay. Well, if you love humanity so much, the fact is animal agriculture is increasing food insecurity. Less people are being fed. There is more hunger and more people are dying of hunger because we use animal agriculture. On top of that, people who do eat meat live shorter lives. They have higher risk of chronic disease and uh, zoonotic disease transmission and communicable diseases are largely due to animal product consumption. So like okay, the, well, you're, you're uh, like the coronavirus, so wait, 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 wait. So coronavirus, uh, okay. <laughs> about 7 million people worldwide died due to coronavirus because we ate meat. That's a zoonotic disease transmission. Um, I, I think there's about, I, I think there's about like 200, 300,000 people worldwide who die each year from the flu virus. Again, that's zoonotic disease. Uh, flu comes from, uh, poultry chickens. So if you love humanity so much and you want to see humans thrive, how do you justify eating animal products? Like, like again, I mean, you're, well, you're, 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 you're making these claims, but everything you're saying goes completely against those, what are the claims those claims. I'm making? I the claim like you're, you're making is that even, you have a preference for humanity. You want to see humanity fr thrive. There's a chicken and then, with a human brain. That's yeah, and I then, said, yeah. well, you're saying you want to see humanity like thrive. Statistics. You're saying you, you're <laughs> saying you want to see humanity thrive, but then you're supporting an industry that kills human beings. Okay. So if more um, people can survive, live uh, which, better I, lives, I can, live longer from not eating animal products, then how do you justify supporting the industry? Wait, so, okay. So I can, I mean, I can, I can like talk to that, but what was the original like hypothetical, what was like the point you were going to get to with that? With well, the point the I was making with a hypothetical the is that you're, you're, the, the qualia difference you're making for why you think it's okay to kill animals is because they're just not human. Um, they're like it, they're it's literally a skin deep um, distinction you're making, and it's no different than saying I'm fine with killing and eating black people because they have black skin. You're fine with killing and eating animals because they have feathers or they. Well, can the they chicken have reproduce? Can the chicken reproduce a human? 
or does it reproduce chickens with a bunch of human brains in it? Well, uh, again, that that wasn't the issue you had. I, I gave you a hypothetical of a chicken with a human brain, and you said you'd still be okay with killing and eating the chicken. Well, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking of reasons to to favor the human with the human brain versus the chicken with the human brain. Because I admitted it's like an emotional thing. Like with my mother, it's not entirely logical. It's not like well, do you think we should rely? Well, do you think we should rely on logic and use logic and reasoning to come to ethical decisions, or do you think we should rely Largely. completely on emotion? Because uh, we've seen where emotion gets us, and that leads us to Nazi Germany. So, it, no, if, I agree. I agree. We shouldn't hard rely on emotion. We should think about things thoroughly. Um, but I also realize that. I mean, I, I was just being honest with, I mean, that's part of well, being sure. human. And, and you know, like I, I appreciate, I appreciate you being honest, but when you, when we're talking about this and you admit there's no logical basis for me to say this, it's purely emotional. Well, maybe you should put your emotions to the side for a moment and think about what you're actually saying. Well, would all of you're those saying animals, you would what, kill. what would the animals do with us if they had an option? I mean, you could say that we are just... Well, sure. I, I mean, mean uh, I, I'm sure like... Uh, I, I'm sure like caretakers of the earth? Well, look, I'm sure if lions... Animal? I'm sure if lions or tigers or something had the intelligence that we have... Um, in a different universe, maybe uh, lions would be doing the same thing we're doing. Uh, they'd be doing the same thing to us as we're doing to them. But we're not in that situation, and I don't see how that would be a justification to murder animals. I, I mean, in a hype, it, 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 we could look at alternate realities where Jews were the ones killing Germans. Uh, okay, I, I don't see how that justifies the Holocaust. All right, well, so in order to... I get well. Your main issue with me is the fact that I'm I'm not vegan yet, um, essentially, and so you want to know why I'm not vegan. I would say that right now um, it's difficult for me. I know you can it's say not. whatever I could, whatever, but I, I would rather I would rather put my money elsewhere um, than doing that for sort of like a long term thing. To I, I would just rather spend my money elsewhere to try to further my bank account essentially so that I can actually be successful in life and okay, help the people well, around if me you who want need help. To save, and okay, later well, in life, if you want to save money, then go on a plant-based consider... diet. If you want to save money, then go on a plant-based diet. Look, uh, foods like beans, lentils, potatoes, rice, corn, they're all extremely inexpensive foods, uh, even if you want some like higher-protein foods like tofu. Again, per pound uh, or per gram of protein, they are cheaper than buying uh, most cuts of meat, and on top of that, you're going to save on healthcare bills. The vegans have vegans egg. have lower rates of heart disease. They have lower rates of obesity, cancer, diabetes. Uh, down the line, you will easily save uh, thousands and thousands of dollars on healthcare costs. That's assuming you have insurance. And when you look at the actual total cost save. Uh, saved over the course of your lifetime, it'd probably be hundreds of thousands of dollars if you count for insurance spending. Do you, uh, what do you think about like ethically sourced? So like ethically sourced eggs or got, even if you have chickens yourself or something and you take care of them. And well, you what do you mean by ethically eggs, sourced? So like you're not shoving them in time, like they don't have shitty lives. You're not bloating them genetically and just like basically breaking their legs like all of these terrible things it's okay it's well like egg laying the, it's, hens it's ethical farming essentially so egg laying hens are a different species uh well not they're technically not a different species they're a different breed than um meat chickens so uh egg laying hens are genetically bred to lay as many eggs as possible uh that causes their uh a, a unique set of health problems they're they're laying more eggs than they would naturally lay. That uh, makes them prone to uh, reproductive disorders, so they can get egg binding, which is extremely painful and oftentimes deadly. They're more prone to uh, nutrient deficiencies like osteoporosis because they're laying so many eggs and they're losing so much calcium. So if you're breeding uh, chickens for egg laying, that is an inherently unethical because you're breeding in disease. Um, it's kind of like if you were to breed a human to produce uh, as many babies as possible. Um, pregnancy is very stressful on a human body uh, and it's stressful for any animal. And if you uh, engineer an animal to produce as many offspring as possible, that's going to breed in disease. 
So that's an inherently unethical. It's yeah, it's just wrong. It's exploitative. Well, can you okay? So can you have a chicken that is not? But like, are all chickens at this point a result of genetic tampering, or could you yes. have? Yes. So the only like, chickens that aren't a result of genetic tampering would be um, the uh, feral uh, feral hens that live in the wild. Um, that's the ancestor of modern domesticated uh, chickens. Those are the only ch- those are the only chickens that haven't been genetically bred to produce as many eggs as possible. Uh, and again, if you were to keep these hens um, to lay eggs, that would be exploitative. You're taking them out of the wild, you're taking away their free will, and you're well, forcing them... Ways it, you're, you're forcing them like to do work mentality. for you. Sorry? They would die in the wild. I mean, there's a lot of ways in which we can sort of live... We can both benefit each other, like a shepherd defending his flock with his dogs to shear the sheep, and then they don't get like eaten alive by wolves or by outside predators. Not like there's many wolves left, anyways. But okay, well, you know uh, uh, again, like, there's ways we could do this where we could farm ethically and we could benefit both parties involved. Okay, so if an alien species were to come down to the planet and sa- and said, "We can get rid of all of your wars, all of your hunger." All of your energy problems, all of the problems of society, um, but sheep you, are retarded. But dude. sheep are stupid. Uh, okay, well we're, we're we stupid compared to an alien species. Uh, we haven't figured out how to solve all but, wars. But we haven't we've, figured we've out how to solve threshold. world we've hunger. We've reached the threshold of of understanding the value of freedom and liberty and making our own choices and developing systems of government. That's a far cry from sheep that just want to survive. I, they, I'm pretty sure the sheep would love the deal to stay in a colony of their own defended by a shepherd and his dog. Uh, okay, so world. you're saying it's okay to exploit a being if it doesn't realize it's being exploited? I think they would want that. I think they would want that. I think they're def- they probably are much happier than a sheep that's going to get mauled in a couple days because it's a fucking sheep. Okay, well, and they well can't. by the way, well, by the way, uh, I do want to uh, eradicate wild animal suffering and I do think it would be a good thing to eradicate the world of predators. So, say, wild chickens or wild sheep uh, could just live on their own without having to get ripped apart by wild animals. Um, so, I, I, But again, I, I don't see how this is an argument against uh, exploiting animals. So you see all or the in predators favor of are genetically animals, evil, so we should wipe out all the predators because they're genetically evil? Yes. Uh, if we, if Nazis were a different species that fed on Jews, I would be in favor of eradicating, you know, these Nazis that feed on Jews. Well, like, let me ask you this. Uh, have you seen the alien movies? So alien aliens, um, maybe like not, not really. I don't remember the plots really. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the xenomorphs, this alien creatures, creatures, for our own preservation. Yeah, I'm sure the sheep lobby, big sheep, wants to get rid of all the wolves. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, but so what, if, but, what I mean, would be what the if issue? I like wolves better than sheep? I just want a bunch of wolves. They okay. can eat each other or something. I mean, why not have that versus wolf, versus a bunch of sheep that will probably, die, will probably overpopulate and then just have massive spikes because there's way too many of them. Let's like, why, I, why we have I don't know hunting. why you I mean, assume It's kind of hard to fuck with like the... Like you're basically saying you want to mess okay, with the so entire l- let me ask you this. Do you think, do you think <laughs> war is a good insane. thing because it like whittles down the human population? Well, that's well, I wouldn't say war is a good thing and I wouldn't say that's a reasoning, but some war is inevitable. like sometimes war needs to occur, but I don't think it's ever a good thing. It's usually a result of many missteps that humanity keeps making. Yeah, so I, I think we can agree we want a less violent existence where people aren't brutally murdered, uh, and that would include animals. You've talked about how you don't like factory farming, you want animals to be taken care of. Well, you could have that world, and you could contribute to that world if you just didn't pay for animals to be brutally murdered. And again, every excuse you've given me doesn't make any sense. Like, you talked about how you love humanity, you want humanity to thrive. Well, your diet and the diet you're promoting prevents human beings from thriving. It uh, increases food insecurity. I don't know if it that's true. The I mean, I don't. Okay, well, you can look at the UN's climate report. You can look at the UN's climate reports. You can look at the UN's climate reports. You can look at reports put out by uh, Cornell University 
Uh, this is well-established scientific fact. This is well-established scientific fact. Animal agriculture reduces the available food supply because we have to feed these animals with corn and soybeans. Yeah, I'm aware that, I mean, you're feeding the animals. Yeah, I'm aware that you have to feed the animals and therefore there's like a net loss of energy there. Um, but I mean, look, I'm not, look, I don't know why he told, I think he's just doing this for fun. Uh, like, I, I don't have like a massive, I mean, I'm sort of like any other, I'm any person that really hasn't put much thought into this in terms of like why or whether I should or whether vegans are bad people or whether non-vegans are bad people. Um, well, not only do it, I think you haven't put any thought into it, I think you're actively trying not to put thought into it because every time I try to get you to think of these things, you, you push back by saying, well, you know, it's just my emotions. Like, well, you don't, all, do you, you offer, think you, you should put thought into this? You've offered me some ridiculous hypotheticals. You've all, uh, you've well, offered look, me some it's ridiculous hypotheticals. Well, it's not a ridiculous hypothetical so. when I bring up the fact that it's reducing the uh, available food supply. It's increasing world hunger. It's increasing zoonotic disease transmission. It's shortening human life expectancy and increasing chronic disease risk. Those aren't ridiculous hypotheticals. And if for a guy is, who's claiming doing, he if, loves humanity and he wants I've, to see humanity I've thrive, heard, how can you support animal agriculture? Well, I've, I've never heard... Well, I've never heard any of that until like just now. So if it is doing all of those things, then I'd be interested to look into that and understand exactly what's the best way to curb that. Okay. And well, realistics in terms of like economics and like, I don't know how, if there's a way we can actually do this as a society, I wouldn't be against it. I mean, I'm, I, okay, I think well, that's probably the direction we should go. Okay. Well, fair enough. I can understand why you'd want to do some more research and reading on your own and you don't want to just take my word for it. But let's just assume for the sake of argument, uh, just to, you know, progress this uh, discussion, let's assume for the sake of argument that animal agriculture is reducing the available food supply, it is increasing world hunger, it is increasing zoonotic disease transmission, so things like coronavirus, uh, flu virus, it's killing millions of human beings worldwide, uh, and it's increasing chronic disease risk and reducing human life expectancy. What would be your argument to support animal agriculture if it's doing nothing but harming hum uh, humanity? Animal agriculture? Um, my argument would be for certain, well, large, large swaths of the animal agriculture industry could and would or should be eradicated at that point. But I think there, is, there still is room for like local farms that are that you can do things ethically because I don't, I don't agree with the idea of just, well, you're putting them in fences and all of these things. I think a lot of these animals, they, they are simpler beings and they do I just agree. like my dog or something. My dog, sure. Like she wants to go out and walk and explore, but she still wants to come home to some place where she gets food. She's safe. I can defend her against predators. There just aren't, pre you know, well, sure. There's, there's, and there's it, qualities if, to life bonuses for these creatures. Well, sure. And, so and it's not like you know what? We just I, get rid of all farming. And you know what? I think, um, things like animal sanctuaries are a great thing. I think, uh, areas where animals can live happily, without the risk of getting torn to pieces by a wolf are a good thing. So what is your argument for murdering an animal that you're taking care of? Um, oh, so for like slaughtering for meat? Yeah. Well, I mean, I was thinking more along the lines of like sheep and eggs and, and more wow. things that you don't necessarily have to, or goats for their cheese. You don't necessarily have to kill the animal. I mean, I don't know enough about can you kill the animal once it's reached a certain like it's going it's going to die soon for natural causes or at that point is the meat sort of not useful? I don't know. I mean, I'd like to I would like to maximize the uh, the quality of life while also not wasting resources that could help other people sort of like a. Uh, it's like a native sort of like the Native American sort of. Pro OK, approach, so do you think uh, a couple days, just have you ever and eat their meat? Have you ever heard of Soylent Green? I've heard of Soylent, but no, I don't really know okay, what it so is. Okay, so the, the, <laughs> the, the term Soylent Green comes from a science fiction movie where in the future, uh, people are killed and they're turned into food. So do you think, like, say, once you're 80 years old, you're going to die in a few years anyway, you should be, like, put to death and turned into food? Would you be okay with... Well, I with think it would, it, it would have to be a personal decision for a person... They would have to, if someone wanted, like if I'm going to die, or if after I die, if my wishes were to be ground up and fed to like, I don't know, the local soup kitchen or something, 
um, they would have to, they, I, this, this, I don't know. Th- this is probably way more complicated than we're making it. Like, I don't even know, are you going to get diseases from eating human? Like, I don't know. So, but let's just say there is no risks to it. The people eating it would have to be informed, but I don't think there's anything wrong. As long as you're not imposing that will on another person and there isn't some sort of centralized power controlling that because there's a lot of issues that come with whether, well, is he going to die in 10 days? Maybe he had a couple months and you cut him, you cut him early. I don't think there should be any sort of like grip on control, but as a personal, like a personal choice, there's nothing wrong with that. If I want to be eaten. Okay. So then why are you taking that personal choice away from animals? Because the animals don't have the capacity for, and they also don't, they don't have this, they're not on the same level in terms of. Okay. uh, So you'd be fine with taking mentally disabled people and turning them into Soylent. (laughs) No. Well, you, you just said they don't have the mental capacity, so if that's the trait, well, then you'd a mentally have disabled no person. How mentally disabled are you talking? Because they're none of them yeah, are going to be Let's that. say they're as mentally disabled as a cow. Well, it would have to be their wishes. Well, you, you, we just established that animals uh, don't have the mental capacity to choose. How about this? How about, how about it's the price they pay for allowing us to defend them from the outside world their entire lives? We kill them or we just eat them whenever they die. Like quick, like we quickly turn them into meat as opposed to letting their corpses rot. That's the price they have to pay as if they would even think about this shit. They don't care. So, oh, it's, it's so again, you'd be okay with turning mentally disabled me. people into soil. that's the price they no, pay for us taking care not of what them. I just, no, no, no. Th- then they, the, what's the trait difference? I mean, they're still a human. They still have, I mean, because that, if, if you allow that, you get into eugenics and you allow, you allow a slippery slope of a lot of morally no, important things. No, no, the, this isn't eugenics. So you just name the trait as mentally disabled. Uh, so if that's the trait, then what's the argument against doing that um, to a mentally well, disabled human? Well, the, well, you're, well, you're just saying we can kill and eat weak people because they're weak. Well, no, not weak. Uh, mentally disabled. That. It's just a, it's a form of weakness. It's a, it's a lack of capacity in some way, whether it's physical or mental. Okay, and no, animals have that weakness, that. And, and animals have that weakness, so you're making the might makes right argument. You're the well, one making that to, argument, not me. It's animals. They're going to be eaten. We don't, we don't, I mean, it, somebody's not going to just die in society, like, in the same way that we're taking care of animals from, like, the, the predator's of outside and i mean regardless this well bears kill human beings all the time seeing, so me not I, I don't seeing know what you mean animals by that. the same as humans huh? i mean i i don't see animal i don't see animals the same as i see humans either. right like, and uh, I, i'm sure frameworks. kkk members neo-nazis they don't see black people okay, the same but as I'm white not people them. okay but you, you can compare a pre- you can compare like a bias toward anything to some group that bias something in a heinous way like it's like are, oh well you like so basketball let me let me ask you well, this how are you like any people. different how are you any different from a nazi saying jews should be holocausted uh when you say animals should be holocausted i never said animals should be holocausted you in well fact, I've, I've said several times that i would support us moving in a direction towards sustainability and not torturing and killing animals constantly well, to sustain well, our population. What do you but like I, I what said, do you eat on a daily basis? So you can say I, that, I, I, but I you're the one supporting these industries. Local farms to kill the animals when they're about to, when they're well, nearing look, death. You're a the one farm. supporting the, you're the one supporting these industries. So how are you any different than a Nazi supporting the Holocaust? Okay, wait. So so what are you so when if there's a local farm and they're going to kill the animal when they're nearing death, you value the animals like life for like a day after well, or look, what if they just eat the body so right listen, as it dies? listen i'm not against mercy killing um i have had to put an animal to sleep because uh she was in really horrible pain from kidney disease so if you're putting an animal to sleep because it's just the uh it's mercy for the animal i don't have a problem with that but that's not what we're talking about you're going to the store and paying for chicken steak uh, pork, you're buying bacon, things like this. And these animals right, are getting we killed. Were. Well, wait, these animals are getting killed when they're literally months old. So uh, how do you justify this? What, like, how are you any different was, from when, a Nazi? I don't know if I can necessarily justify. I already told you I don't, I'm not well read in terms of like 
the whether it's even realistic for everyone to go plant based right now. Like I don't know how many years it would well, take or whether guess we what? even have it's realistic for you. I don't so know. So we can we can argue uh, about other people, but it's realistic for you. So how are you any different okay. from a Nazi like, supporting a Holocaust when you're the <laughs> one supporting a Holocaust against animals? Well, first of all, whenever I was talking about killing the animals, we weren't even talking about, we were talking about the animals in like, I was, I was, I was making a case for if we do, if we can reach that point, which I would support. Um, and I already told you, dude, I haven't thought about this shit. So I, am I eating chicken right now? Like, no, I, I may have eaten chicken in the past week. I told you, I, I haven't thought about this stuff really. So if you're going to like, well, you can think about it now. I'm focusing well, on the things like school uh, and again, friends and can, living uh, a good life. Well, again, you can think about it right eating. now. Like, I'm not you. You can think about it okay, right now, well, and I'm asking well, you, you, want me to go do what a makes you right now? <laughs> like, what makes you different from a Nazi supporting the Holocaust uh, when you're supporting a Holocaust against animals? What's the difference? Well, for one, I'm killing animals and not humans, which I know for some, you believe that it's equal, but it just, it isn't for me. And it isn't for like 99% of the human, the humans on earth. Okay. So, so if Jews like weren't human beings, difference. you're, so if Jews they weren't are, human though. beings and they didn't have the cluster genetics that make them part of the genus. If Homo, Jews were chickens, it would be the same thing. Yeah. Cause it literally would be the same I, I'm thing. I'm not saying, like, wow. I, wait, wait, wait. You named the trait as being part of the human species. So that can mean a lot of different things. That can mean your chicken. That can ma mean your humanoid organism that has the same intelligence as a human being, but you're not necessarily a human being. So if the trait is species specifically, would you have been okay with uh, the Holocaust if Jews were not part of the human species? If they were instead something like a, another humanoid race that isn't human, it's like, I don't know, like a Neanderthal but they still have a bunch, they're still similar intelligence. They have all this different culture and they have like families and all like, they're still human in nature. If there's like an Argonian, like what I said before, like the race. Okay. So then this is like, okay. So then the trait isn't things, human species. It's still humanoid. So the trait isn't I mean, human species. So it's we not can get over that. that. It's a lot of things. There's a lot, uh, okay. There's a lot wait, of wait, 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 wait. You just said, you just said it not the same as the Holocaust. Uh, okay. We can get rid of species because now you realize how stupid the trait it's species is. It's one piece is. of the puzzle. No, 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 no. The species thing is one piece of the puzzle. There's a lot of things like our intellect, like our well, culture, no. like our capacity, well, like our, well, let's like say, moral let, philosophy. let's say there's so much. Well, let's say Jews were chickens. Um, but they had human intelligence. Would it have been okay for the Nazis to wipe out Jews if they were chickens with human intelligence? Would it have been okay for Nazis to wipe out Jews if they were chickens with human intelligence? Yeah. Um, I would say no, but if they had to pick two people, I would rather than pick the chicken with oh, okay. Okay. the intelligence. But yeah, still no, it's bad. Okay, so it's bad. Um, yeah. So not right. Now, let's say those chickens did not have human intelligence. So Jews are just chickens. It would be okay? Um, are they... I mean, if they're just killing chickens just to kill them, are they eating? Are they using them yeah, for sure. some let's, sort of... Yeah, sure, let's say they're eating it's them. It's still not good, but... Okay, well, I wouldn't say it's the same. It's it's not as bad as killing Jews right, we, with We we could say it's IQ, not as bad. But it's still not good. But it's not good, but it's not as bad. Yeah, so Okay, it's, uh, well, then let me ask you, why would you support something that's wrong? I don't know if I necessarily I've already said that I don't necessarily support it that I think you, it's you, I mean okay, I I I then I'm, I'm working from if a you position recognize of it's so wrong. I don't know all of the if you recognize it's wrong, why would you do it? If I'm something's hearing, wrong, okay. it's something you shouldn't you, do, correct? Okay, my position is that you you your name is you go by vegan gains. You have a very vegan centered. So you're giving me all these data points. I don't have data points from the other side and I don't actually know like what I'm saying, I'm coming from a position of ignorance. I don't know. I haven't really thought about this and I don't know whether it's, it's feasible or whether it is well, look, okay look, or we, bad to do this. Well, I just know we're that's thinking not the same about as this during the Holocaust. You've been, you have been thinking about this throughout this discussion. Okay. This isn't something you've yeah. considered much in your personal life, but you've been thinking about this in this discussion. You've admitted it's wrong. So I, I'm just asking you now, 
why would you do something that you well, recognize as wrong? If you're eating them, if you're eating them, well, you said it's wrong. wrong. You you said it's wrong. So why would you support something that, yeah. that is wrong? Well, I don't know if I don't actually don't know if I think it is wrong now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not quite sure. Why why would it eating, not be killing wrong? a bunch of chickens to feed the population of Germany in the 30s? Um, it depends on the ramifications of not doing that, you know. Well, the ra- what, the ram- well, I'll tell you what the ramifications the what Well, I'll tell you what the ramifications of not doing that would have been. People would have been eating more plant-based foods. They would have been consuming less cholesterol. They would have more food availability kill, because guess what? Chickens are fed with grain. And you would also reduce zoonotic disease transmission. So you'd see less outbreak of flu virus. The flu has killed uh, tens of millions of people worldwide. You realize that? There was a flu outbreak in the um, uh, after World War uh, I in 1918 that killed about 50 million people. That originated from chickens. From farming chickens, a flu we outbreak killing the killed chickens, then. 50 million people worldwide. So, Fucking so, chickens. Well, we, it, those chickens wouldn't exist uh, if we didn't breed them into existence and consume their flesh. So from farming chickens, that led to the brutal deaths of 50 million people who had to die from a viral infection. So, uh, again, how is any of this okay? You're supporting a holocaust against animals. Um, you're, br- you're causing their suffering and death. And on top of that, you're causing tens of millions of people to suffer and die from a transmittable disease. So, w- how, how is any of this okay? Well, here, here's what I would say. I would say that I recognize sort of how historically we've gotten to this point, And I would support phasing out of this. If, I mean, unless like we reset ourselves, if you support phasing out of this, then go vegan. If you support that, then go vegan. I've considered it. I have have considered it. Look, you you vote with your dollars. I'm not against becoming vegan, but I'm, I'm, I also don't know whether it's like in terms of nutrition and all these things, there's a lot of things that I'm not aware of. I don't know whether okay, I can well, I'm actually six foot get three. a certain amount of B I'm 270 pounds, I do bodybuilding, I can bench 400 pounds, I've been vegan for 14 years, I'm not dead yet, so uh, I, it's pretty clear you can get enough nutrition. It's certainly, it's certainly something I would consider, but I, I would definitely still, I still think me and you would be in largely different camps, because I don't, I, I, no, I think I, I, I don't you're, think you're putting are. much larger... Look, I, I don't think we are. A lot of things. Look, I, I don't think we are. I think the only thing we disagree with. I, I think the only thing we disagree with is um, the evaluation of whose life matters more. Um, and you know, fine, that's your personal well, you preference. Equal, you can think right? the life. Well, you can think the life of a human being matters more than the life of a chicken, and that's fine. But do you not? Um, depends you on the equal? human. Depends on the chicken. But um, depends on the chicken. So what? So in what scenario would the chicken be more valuable than the human if they're like uh, if, they're if we're Hitler, talking about basically? Hitler, if we're talking about a pedophile, if we're talking about somebody who's violating the rights of others? What if then, it's both neutral? What if it's like a newborn and a newborn chicken? They they both have no baggage at all. Well, then, um, assuming the child's going to grow up to be vegan, then I'd save the child. But um, uh, again. You 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 recognized that this is wrong. Mass killing of animals. Look, mass killing of animals is not a nice thing. Wait, wait. that makes it sound like you'd pick the child if the child was going to eat meat. No, I'd pick the chicken if the child was going to eat meat. Well, yeah, that's what I. Yeah, you'd choose to kill the child. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, look, you you already agreed with me. (laughs) Crazy. No, uh, you already agreed with me that. You know, the mass killing of animals is not a good thing. Uh, causing animals all of the suffering and death is not a good thing. Uh, right. I've, always, still, I've already pointed out. I'm still a supremacist, though. And I've I already love pointed humanity out, more than I love any other species. Well, listen, I already pointed gonna... out that animal agriculture is harming humanity. It's reducing food security. It's increasing zoonotic disease transmission. Tens of millions of people, if not... I know, but I would pick that baby no matter what. Uh, okay, Basically. well, unless, that, that's unless, great. Like, unless it's going to be Hitler or something, unless it destroys more humans, 
then I would pick that baby. That's well, what I mean by we are still opposed and like diametrically opposed in a lot of ways. Even if maybe I do become vegan, I think you have a large set of weird like ideological um, traits that I don't think I would ever be able to get on board with. Well, well, that's great. Like killing but, humans because they eat meat. Well, again, that's great. But you've talked about being a human supremacist. You want to see humans thrive. And I've pointed yeah. out that you don't like the idea of animals getting brutally murdered or mistreated. You don't like yeah. the idea of humans starving to death uh, because of food insecurity. You don't like the idea yeah. of tens of millions of people dying from zoonotic disease transmission. By the way, uh, the bubonic plague orig is a zoonotic disease. Uh, it was picked up from animals, transmitted to humans, and it might have caused, uh, f I think the estimate is like 500 million uh, human deaths. Uh, it, it wiped out half of humanity. And that's because humans were killing and eating animals. Uh, so if you care about humanity so much, like you, I, I don't see any way for you to make these claims and not go vegan. Well, I can't really. I mean, I, I agree. You're making, you are making a strong case for veganism apart from your like psychotic uh, lack of preference for humanity, which I find kind of concerning aside from like you, I, I you you're you as a person and some of the things you're saying is sort of but what you're saying you're sort of turning me off because of you you're coming off kind of like psychotic a little bit but you are making like just in terms of what you're saying you're making a strong case and i haven't made a strong case against it um to really back it up so i would say that you're you're fairly convincing yeah but but i, I don't I'm, I'm i'm not in the complete camp that you are and i don't know if i ever will be per se but um, I may stop eating meat when I could, I could, but I've, I've already come to that conclusion before that it's something that I would consider. I'm not entirely against going well, vegan. Look, if, if you're going to claim you love humanity so much and you want to see humanity thrive, but you're supporting an industry that not only harms animals and by the way, killing animals causes psychological disturbance to humans. Uh, all these people who live in slaughter, uh, sorry, who work in slaughterhouses, they have PTSD, they can't sleep at night, they have horrible nightmares, a lot of them have to quit their jobs because they can't handle the psychological torture of, you know, brutally murdering these animals. And on top of that, uh, again, it's causing zoonotic disease transmission, it's causing uh, food insecurity, people are starving to death because we're feeding animals that could, uh, feeding animals food that could have gone to these people and we're just feeding these animals and fattening them up so, you know, wealthier people can enjoy eating a steak. Um, it, it's, co it's contributing to climate change, which is causing even more food insecurity. There's zoonotic disease transmission that's killing tens of millions of people worldwide. If you don't go vegan while claiming you care so much about humanity, you're just a hypocrite. Okay. So, so that's fair. I'll definitely consider... Well, well, I, I don't know why you'd consider. Why don't you just do it? Like, like why wouldn't you just do it when well, you know well, it's the I right thing? I don't know. Well, when I say I consider, after this conversation, I'll probably figure out what the opposing side has to say in terms of, I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting all one side here. I don't really know. I'm not just going to be convinced well, and then boom, like, okay. Well, what, so I'd like to hear the other arguments against you because I'm sure there are some decent ones. Well, there aren't. Like, like, what's the opposing side? Well, oh, zoonotic disease that. transmission is a good thing. Uh, tens a of millions of people dying from viruses right is, is okay. Like, well, well, look, is it okay that tens of millions of people are dying from zoonotic you disease keep, transmission? You just keep regurgitating your data point. I don't. Uh, you don't have to accept the fact that I'm going to do more research and listen to the opposing side before you, I make a decision. You can do more research, so do. sure. But I mean, like, what are you yeah. expecting? Are, are you expecting somebody to tell you, "Oh no, people dying of disease—that's a good thing. People living short." lives because they're eating well, so much saturated fat and cholesterol and getting you cancer said, you that's a just good made thing. up i'm not saying you did but you t you could have made everything up because i don't know any better that's all i'm saying is that i'm gonna i'm going to you know just look more into it and hear what the other side is saying and if the other side would poke holes in something you said if it was slightly misrepresented or whatnot and likewise your side would do the same so that's all I'm, i would just i would like a thorough understanding of the topic before I make a decision like that because well, I don't know whether... what is, what is there you don't understand. Like I don't know whether um, there are serious 
nutritional consequences or whether there are serious okay um, well the american like, dietetics association well wait could. wait the american dietetics association is the largest nutrition organization in the world they've released a peer-reviewed statement uh, claiming that vegan diets are suitable for all stages of the, li the life cycle from pregnancy to adulthood they're also suitable for athletes uh again I, I'm a six foot three inch bodybuilder. I'm 270 pounds. I can bench 400 pounds. L like, w w what's the nutritional issue? I don't. Well, I have like personal. I have personal. Um, like, uh, what's the term? I have personal cases where people that I know have gone vegan and they've been like they started having seizures. And I mean, I think it's different for different people, whether they are capable. Okay. Of do you think this. broccoli causes the, the seizures? Person, like, like, do you think broccoli well, causes no, it was, seizures? It was, well, no, but it's, it was the lack of a specific type of B vitamin and they, they're, yeah, so you do have to, so you do have to supplement with their, B12. You, you do have to supplement with B12, but I mean, uh, yeah, anybody can get maybe. a B12 deficiency. Look, uh, anybody can get a deficiency in anything. Um, if your diet is not appropriately planned, like, if you're eating nothing but uh, pepperoni pizzas, you're probably going to have a nutrition deficiency. But, oh, you're eating meat, you're eating, um, you know, some grains, you're eating some veggies that are on the pizza, like tomatoes. But, like, look, if you have a diet that's inappropriately planned, any diet is going to be bad for you. So, um, you know, th that's not a claim against a vegan diet not being nutritionally adequate. That's just a claim against inappropriate diet dietary planning. And if you have uh, concerns that you're not going to be able to appropriately plan a vegan diet, there's actually free resources to help you. So you can go to challenge22.com. Uh, they can set you up with a uh, vegan dietitian who will help you design a diet for you uh, to make sure uh, all your nutritional needs are met. So why don't you just use that resource and just go vegan today? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I would check that out. I would be, I would be interested. I mean, it's other things like whether it's even feasible at the macro scale, um, and and like also like, can we do it in the first world? But maybe the third world, it's going to take some time. Or and are there some things like hunting that we may need to continue doing because, um, but I mean, the the small bit that I have thought about it is that potentially going vegan outside from, you know, getting my meat elsewhere? Because, well, I mean, I don't have the same framework as you that it's everything is equal. I do believe that well, we're going to have uh, to keep hunting if, deer. E well, wait, even, even, if other people can't, even if other people can't go vegan, what's the argument against you going vegan? Okay, let's say well, no, uh, well, let's say people in third world countries I was just can't using go that vegan. As, as an example, like... As like, is it is it economically viable in terms of scale for the first world or for the third world or anything okay, like that? Well, it most, could be a place where I'm living. Well, I don't know. meat meat is a luxury. Uh, most people who are in poverty are living off of rice and potatoes and uh, just vegetables. So uh, you, you can talk to people who came from China uh, decades ago who are living in poverty. All they were eating were vegetables and maybe. Um, they'd have like one sausage that they'd split across the family uh, for like, you know, one special meal out of the week. So, no, uh, poor people living in poverty in all of these third world countries, they're living off of plant based diets. Well, I think I think that for me personally, I think the probably because I'm not going I don't think I'm going to agree with you um, amongst everything. But I do agree with you in terms of like factory farming and the unethical tendencies that, that come with that. I would, I don't, I would like to not support that. Um, and then I think don't, what I would, then don't 95% of farming is factory farming. If you buy animal products, you are pretty much guaranteed to be supporting factory farming. Right, and I yeah, just you gave you a way out, out of that. your way to get local. You well, look, I, I just gave you a way out of local, that. But I wouldn't, but I wouldn't be, but I wouldn't be against, I'm just, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm not going to do it. I'm just saying that I'm describing the difference between you and me. I don't think I'm going like I would like to probably take up hunting or something um, because I don't think the bat. Have like, you I ever, have you ever vegan. killed an animal? I would still eat meat. Have you ever killed an animal personally? An animal? I mean, like insects. No. Uh, have you ever like slit a pig's throat open? Have you ever killed a chicken? Like Anything a mammal? Like that? Well, chickens aren't mammals, no. but yeah. So yeah, no, no, I haven't. Well, uh, why? Like, have you ever seen slaughterhouse footage? Yeah, I, I'm telling you, I, I don't like, I don't like that. But that's much different than a hunter dipping his hand into the wild, 
um, well, and look, keeping I, the deer population I, in check because I we wiped out the wolves see, hundreds of years ago. Well, listen, I don't see a massive difference between slitting a chicken's throat open and blowing a deer's brains out with a high-powered rifle. Like, both of those seem like nasty things that I wouldn't want to support. Why would you want well, to support is, either of those things? One is you're things? building a building, you're basically constructing a prison for them and treating them like shit. And then the other is they are, it's a, it's a random deer that you're finding that is living its own life in the wild. And eventually it's going to die, whether from a rival deer with a fight or from a predator or from lack of food because they're overpopulated or, you know, because of a ver various other factors and me being a hunter going to kill to feed my family for six well, months the reason, or something. Well, look, um, uh, we've been, we've been hunting, any. well, wait, we've been hunting deer for quite a long time and I keep hearing this uh, argument, oh, they're overpopulating, oh, they're overpopulating. Clearly hunting isn't fucking solving the issue and if you actually look at well, uh, the way... waves, there's seasons. Yeah, well, if you look at the way hunting's conducted, um, they particularly target large male deer. If you were actually trying to reduce the deer population, you'd actually preferentially um, uh, kill uh, female deer. So, like, hunters aren't dealing well, one with male deer is over... Produce way more deer. If you kill one buck, you're going to reduce the population by way more than if you killed one doe. Because well, look, one buck can well, well, fuck a bunch well, of doe. Well, look, the, the, re the actual reason deer are overpopulated is because we've actually massively expanded their territorial range. Uh, the the white-tailed deer population in North America was uh, almost going extinct, and the government stepped in. They had um, a lottery system for getting hunting permits, and they increased their territorial range by reforesting. If you were to just reduce their territorial range, you wouldn't have this overpopulation issue. So hunting isn't a solution to this. Like, like, why would you want to murder an animal that's living its life? What do you mean by reduce their territorial range? Like, re like, like deforest and what yeah, do you deforest mean by that? increase uh, human. So uh, you can increase human um, habitation. So uh, farmland, apartment buildings, stuff like that. Uh, but it, the the big issue is uh, unbroken territorial range. So if you have, uh, let's say. Um, I don't know, 50 square kilometers of wilderness, you could break that in half. Um, so it, it's not an unbroken, just completely unbroken wilder wilderness and uh, basically split that 50 uh, square kilometers up into, um, you know, different 25 kilometer uh, square kilometer chunks. With like a with that, barrier yeah, section. So that would, actually uh, that would actually reduce deer populations much more effectively than just blowing their brains out with rifles. And then uh, again, oh, next season, oh, they're overpopulating. Oh, they're overpopulating. So th this isn't well, a solution. So that, would you... reduce, that would reduce deer population in terms of it would lower the cap but it wouldn't necessarily i don't know why each why would each individual little colony of deer not overpopulate and then deer would die like i, I mean death is inevitable in nature especially when you're talking about you don't have predators and you have a prey that will just rat it they're just going to constantly populate no matter what no I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't no so uh again um there there's a reason why they um there was this uh reforestation effort to increase the white-tailed deer population that was the main issue for why their populations were decreasing um it wasn't just over hunting it was also a uh, habitat encroachment if these deer don't have such a massive habitat that's unbroken um, they're not going to breed as much. They're not going to have as much access to, uh, you know, um, uh, other deer to actually breed with. And because they don't have as many resources, that also reduces their uh, breeding capacity. If they don't have as much, uh, if they don't have as much territorial range, if they don't have as much access to other deer to mate with, and if they don't have as much access to an insane amount of food, they're going to breed less. Um, well, that would be interesting to try. If uh, I don't know how, um, like whether that that alone is enough. I mean, if it is, then that would be cool to try. It would be cool to try that in certain locations and see if that works to keep the population down. Um, 
I think that's that's interesting. But like uh, my um, even, my main even, even I just still don't see hunting as unethical. Well, look, my I think regardless. Well, do you think it's ethical but, to hunt people? Like, I mean, there's very valid arguments I, we, we, for we, we overpopulation don't, we don't have of the human same beings. Baseline. I don't. We don't have the same baseline. You're coming from a very different perspective that they're equal. I don't have that. Well, I don't hold that view. That's well, wait, the thing wait, that I think, wait, I don't wait, think wait. I'm ever going to be on there board are, with that. There are very valid arguments for the overpopulation of humanity. There are countries that rely on importation of food uh, and water and energy. Uh, they can't produce it domestically, and you're relying on good relations with other countries to make sure. And the just the economics within your own country, Turkey is facing uh, this problem right now. They're a massive importer of uh, resources, both food and energy. And because of the uh, the hyperinflation they're experiencing, it's it's increasing the cost of uh, food and energy even more. And you could say the population of Turkey is overpopulated. Like, is it okay to go and hunt Turkish people now because well, they're no, overpopulated? Think, no, 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 no. Well, they are not. Well, first of all, again, like I said, I'm, I'm working with the fact that humans are far different than animals. I hold them at a higher form of value and I give them certain rights that I, do, I would not ascribe or I would not give to, to animals. If you're looking at a place that's overpopulated, I would say the how, how to deal with that would be to address why those, I mean, the reason why it's overpopulated is because there's so many people there and they don't have the things they need where there isn't, usually it's not, there's not enough space. It's usually there's not enough infrastructure. I would look to try to like, like gentrify, gentrify essentially and bring in industry, just try to lift up economically so then those people can and their children can have better lives. Um, well, why don't do you treat people. animals the same way? Uh, I mean, we could deal with overpopulation of uh, deer by, say, uh, using technology to reduce their uh, habitat range. We can um, prevent them from breeding would, yeah. by chemical castration. I'd be in support of that. We, we could we could do all these. So, uh, why would you shoot a deer in the head if you could use all this technology? Well, well, as of right as of right now. Um, we don't have those. I don't, I mean, what am I going to, am I going to like run for representative and try to lobby for that too? You absolutely to, can. And look, I, you can, you can vote I with could. your dollars. You can choose not do. to support. You can personally choose not to support hunting and you can force uh, governments and industries to, uh, you know, put their resources into better, more ethical efforts. I already, I already told you, I don't think hunting is, I think hunting is more ethical than factory farming, and I don't think it's sure. I think, it's bad I, I, think I'd I agree with that too. But just because it's more ethical, that doesn't make up. it right. Like y you would agree with me, there's a better I don't think way. It's wrong. You could say there's a better way of managing wildlife than you know shooting them with a high-powered rifle, correct? Like, I'd be I'd be open I'd be open to that. I don't know whether because you you just gave me one example which I'd never thought of or heard of, and I think that would be cool to try. But as of now, it's not implemented. So I don't think there's anything wrong well, with going it, out. It's not implemented. It's not it. implemented because there's people like you who are supporting a less ethical solution. So if you don't support a less ethical solution and you force uh, you know, these government agencies to, you know, find other means of dealing with these issues then that's going to lead to a world that you'd prefer to see a world where you don't have to shoot deer with well, high powered I've never rifles. Hunted before. I don't they can talk live about peacefully. It, but Okay, well, good. I'm glad you've never hunted before. And not, I think if you did, I think, a, you, you know, I, I hope you I'm never hunt because not only for the animal's benefit, but I think for your benefit, I, it, it sounds I to me like, like you don't hunt. have an interest. Well, it sounds to me like you don't have an interest in murdering animals. Um, well, no, I think it's I think it's a useful skill, um, especially if you ever find yourself in a situation where all of a sudden grocery stores no longer have food. Well, I mean, look, go to a, I, I think go to an outdoor shooting I think range. Being able to hunt would well, be sure, valuable. you know, go to an uh, like look, I I do shooting. Um it's I love not shooting. The same, but Well, look, you can go to an outdoor shooting range and you can practice target shooting. That's the basic skill that you need to have. You just need to be a good shot. Um like again, uh most hunters are fucking lazy and they'll just put out bait and wait for a deer to come. Uh that's how most hunting's done. So uh look, just go to a range, practice target shooting. If you want to develop that skill just in case there's an apocalyptic event, you know, go for it. Go to a shooting range, shoot at targets. Uh that's not harming anybody. But you don't seem like the type of guy who has an interest in murdering an animal, and I don't think uh you'd feel good after you do it, and I hope you never do it. 
No, not really. I mean, I don't, I definitely wouldn't get a euphoria from it. It would more be like, I did this to feed the people that I love. Well, and look, I'm glad that I have the capacity and that I can do it so then they don't starve. Even I, though I may not want well, to. Look, something you're, that I needed to do in this scenario. No one in your family I'd is like starving to be able right to now. Do that. I, I don't think no, anybody in your family like is starving to be able right to. now. Well, I don't think anybody in your family is starving if right now. Were. Hopefully, uh, at no point are they going to starve. And uh, look, I think if you actually were to go out and hunt, uh, I think you would feel, you know, bad about that emotionally. I think you'd cause yourself trauma. Uh, not not only are you harming the deer, but I think you're going to end up harming yourself and for no benefit. You're just going to go out into the wild, kill a deer, feel bad about it afterwards. You might also give yourself Lyme disease because they're deer carry ticks and they transfer disease to human beings. Uh, again, another reason for why I'm against hunting. Uh, hunting results in zoonotic disease transmission. And uh, you're just going to increase your chances of getting your life fucked up. And for what? You didn't need that meat. Your family didn't need that meat. It's not going to prevent you from starving. And all you did was increase the risk of you getting a horrible disease. And on top of that, traumatizing yourself because... You killed an innocent animal. Like, deer are beautiful creatures. I think you can... I, I'm sure you've seen videos on, like, Instagram or TikTok or something where people go up and pet deer at petting zoos or something. They're wonderful, sweet animals. Like, why would you want to kill a, a sweet animal like that that's beautiful? Well, I mean, yeah, I said that I think... Well, I think it, I think there is... Again, I'm not a hunter, but I would, I would reckon um, it would be... It's just valuable to actually do the act of hunting as opposed to just target shooting. Um, it's not. It, it's the, the same, it's the same exact to. skill. It's the same exact skill. Uh, skill. Uh, target shooting will teach you how to uh, kill a human being or an animal. That's why the military uh, teaches you to shoot targets. It's the same exact skill. So, um, it, so I, I think it's uh, about time to wrap this conversation up, but I'll ask you to do yeah, me... That's fair. I'll ask you to do me one favor. Um, please watch, uh, either Dominion or, uh, Earthlings. They're both fantastic animal rights documentaries. Uh, Dominion is a more modern documentary. So, uh, all the footage was shot on Australian farms and Australia is kind of known for having better animal rights practices or sorry, better animal welfare practices than the United States, which I, I think you're from, right? Um, yeah. So um, that's a more modern documentary. So uh, what was the other one? Dominion and what? And Earthlings. Earthling. I would say Earthlings is a better documentary overall. Um, the the pushback I've seen from meat eaters, however, is that uh, a lot of the footage is from places like India. Some of it's from the United States. Some of it's from Australia. It's kind of all over the world. Um, but the footage is a bit older. It's a bit more grainy. Um, it's still good, uh, and relevant footage, but some people who watch it kind of get this feeling that, oh, it's older. Oh, it's from other countries. And they kind of cope and say, oh, well, that doesn't happen here. Well, it does happen here. Um, it would be good if you watch both, uh, really. But if you only watch one, I would kind of recommend Dominion, but, uh, Earthlings is a better documentary. I would appreciate if you'd watch at least one of those. Uh, pick whatever I'll you want. Watch those. Pick whatever you I'll want. I watch both. Um, and um, you know, see how you feel uh, after watching that, and you know, think about our discussion. All right. Cool. All right. We'll take care, we'll man. Do. It was a good talk. All right. Adios. Take care.